What do you think? Do you think I should start a new print with that amount of um, filament on the spool? Yes, of course we are. We've got to be mad. And we're going to be testing out that little sensor right there and see what it does. So here goes. Files and uh, which one will we go with? Silica gel, that one. Yep, we'll print out another another one of those. I need it. We're coming up to the critical bit now. As you can see, that's the end of the spool. That's the filament itself disappearing in there. I haven't done anything at all to it. That's exactly how it came off the spool. Uh, had a little kink in the end, so we'll see what happens. So far, printer still going, and I'm guessing once it gets through to the other side, the printer will stop. Or so the theory goes. We're on 23% of the print. Is still proceeding as normal. That's exciting, isn't it? Can't see a darn thing. <laughs> okay, now there it goes. Beautiful. What's just happened? The uh, Hot end has returned to home position and I love this little message down here. Error, change filament. So that's looking pretty good. I'll do that now and uh, we'll see what happens when we resume the print. So let's see what happens now. I've just put some new um, eSun PLA Plus black filament in. So I'll press this again and down to resume print. And with a bit of luck, it will proceed and continue where it left off. Now it's just a waiting game for the temperatures to get back up again. And as you can see there, the uh, black filament's coming through perfect. So the uh, filament sensor works absolutely magic, cannot fault it. And there we are with the resume print filament sensor. That's the time taken to print and uh, as you can see it's looking pretty good at this stage. One really good uh, advantage of having a filament sensor fitted is as the filament goes through and pops out the other side here you've got this bit of a gap between it and the uh, uh, extruder motor itself. Now once the sensor realizes there's nothing in there and it shuts down the system you can just simply pull without any effort whatsoever the uh, filament back out through you don't have to worry about it getting into the extruder head itself and it's a pain in the tail you know dismantling the Bowden tube on the other side and you know mucking around trying to get the stuff uh, so you don't have to do any of that so the filament sensor is uh, absolutely amazing I'm very impressed with it uh, thoroughly recommend Anyone who hasn't got one, consider putting one on. They're, uh, they're well worth it. And of course, it comes stock standard with the uh, CR-10S. So, yep, that's a definite bonus, definite plus. And uh, there's the finished product. So it uh, printed out pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So you can definitely see that the filament sensor works perfect. No separation between the old print, which is a white, and the black, which is a new, so she's solid. And uh, all in all, very impressed. I, I quite like that feature. It's uh, definitely worth considering if you have, uh, have a CR-10 and you're looking at getting a filament sensor. I thoroughly recommend it. It's brilliant. I love it. And if you're after a new printer, go for the uh, CR-10 
S and uh, you'll get the stock standard. And uh, thanks for watching.